All right. So now we're going to talk about dichotomous keys. But before we get into the dichotomous key, um, this is another piece of classification that you need to be familiar with. So if you were to see something very similar to this chart that you see up here, okay, you need to be able to answer questions like this that follow. And you're going to see this um, also in your activity. So if you were to look up here, okay, gives us a snake, a turtle, a tortoise, one tortoise, two, and an alligator. So, um, what is the scientific name of the snake? Okay, so remember, this takes us back to our classification system. So you've got King, Philip, King, here, or King, King, or King Philip came over for good spaghetti. So kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, species. So you have to look for, for the scientific name, you have to look for the what? Genus and the species. So this, okay, close enough. So this is what you would put for the scientific name. Is that an L or a P right there? It looks like an L on here. Okay. Okay. Number two, which of the above organisms belong to the same class? So you would have to figure that out by going to the to the class, right? So King Philip came, right? So that would be everyone. Which of the above organisms belong to the same order. The snake. No, just the turtle, tortoise, and tortoise. Yeah. Tortoise. Right. Turtle, turtle, tortoise one, tortoise two. Okay. And then the last one says which two organisms are most distantly distantly related to one another. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Everybody follow? All right. Which two organisms would be most closely related? Okay. Because. So you would have to go down the classification key and find what they have in common. Okay, so until you go down and can't go down any further that they share the same thing, that's how you would know who's more closely related. Okay, um, now we're going to go which taxon, so kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, species, includes the most specific characteristics. Specific is what? Species. Okay, so when it's asking for taxon, that's dealing with what I just said. Kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, species. One of those that I just listed. Which one includes the broadest characteristics? Kingdom. Kingdom. That's it. We don't need the actual chart to answer those last ones. Okay. And then which taxon has more species, an order or a family? Has more, so order, because order comes first up here, okay? So therefore it's gonna contain more because that's closest to the broadest, which is what? Kingdom, okay? All right, here we go. So this is dichotomous keys. Super short, super sweet. So, uh, di means two. Cotomous means splitting. Okay? 
So the purpose of a dichotomous key is to allow people to identify different species by giving two choices at each step to identify using physical characteristics, okay? So they're created by scientists to in turn allow other people to be able to identify a species. So there are three rules. You need to follow these rules. Always, 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 always start at number one. And I'm gonna show you why. Number two, pick which choice is true for the organism. So at every number, you're gonna see two choices, an A and a B. You have to pick which one is true. Then, once you go through the key and follow it, when you reach a name, that means that you have identified the species and you're done with that organism. So then you would look at the next one, start back at number one, choose between A and B, follow until you get an answer. Everybody follow me so far? Okay, yeah. so here's an example. This is a dichotomous key for leaves. So what you would be doing, we are going to look at A. So what number do we start at? One. One. Needle leaves or non-needle leaves? Non. So you look over, what does it tell you? Do you go to two? No, you go to three. So we skip this. We go to three. Does it have simple leaves? Is it a single leaf or is it a compound leaf, which means it's made of leaflets? Go to four. Is it smooth edged or jagged? Okay, the leaf edge is smooth or is it lobed? Okay, so that means that that is magnolia. So you would write that this is a magnolia. Now you're done with A. Is that actually a root Yeah. Okay, then you would go to B and you would do the same thing. You start where? You always start at number one. Do you see why? Yeah. Okay, so does it have needle leaves or non needle leaves? Non needle. So go to three. Simple or compound? Go to seven. Are the leaflets attached at one single point or multiple points? So that's a walnut. So now you got this one, you're done. Now you go to B and you start where? One. Does everybody understand? 